then when she got ill, you, you start thinking, is this your idea of punishment? Do you always punish the weak? Alice's peace of mind taken from her, a friendship with you. She's just beginning to absorb all this. And then she's told she's going to die. Not too bad. <laughs> no, really. You find ways of coping. In ways that you do. Uh, I've got the business, no problem. Got the house. <laughs> oh, uh, this, this woman came to the door. I never told you this. Uh, this woman came to the door. She said she was from a local support group. I couldn't believe it. She said she'd come to help me grieve. I said, I beg your pardon. She said, no, don't worry, it's not going to cost you. <laughs> it's on the rates of the poll tax, whatever it's called. I said, this is meant to make me feel better. This is meant to make me feel all right. This is meant to make all the difference. I thought, oh, good, I think I'll do this. I think I'll mourn my wife and the company of this complete stranger. Aunt Rose is going to be free. <laughs> I said, look, lady, when I choose to mourn for this woman, this woman with whom I've spent such a large part of my life, it will not be in the presence of a representative of Wimbledon Council. <laughs> she said, oh, we're in Merton now. <laughs> 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 Sick on your hydration. 
You stepped over. It's Miss. Okay, sorry, Miss. But I meant to. What? Step over. Yeah, I figured you did the way you did it, and all kind of deliberate like. I know. Um, you're not supposed to do that. That's why I tried it. Why? To see what would happen. Oh. City call it me out into the night with promises of pleasures and sweet delight. It's wrong, it's also oh wrong, but I want it. To be right, to be right, to be right. Now you got me walking on the sidewalk, talking, moving, looking, stopping, farting like a dog. Like Spencer. You know when Picasso uh, took a shit? He didn't call it a sculpture. He knew the difference. That's what made him Picasso. And if I'm wrong about that, I mean, if I totally missed the point here, and somehow puking up your own little shitty neuroses all over people's laps is actually art, then you ought to at least realize that there's a price to it all. You know? Somebody pays for your two minutes on CNN. Somebody always pays for people like you, and if you can't see that, if you don't get at least that much, then you are about two inches away from using babies to make lampshades and calling it furniture. Look, I know they call it the art scene, but that's not all that should make a scene. Anybody can be provocative or shocking. Stand up in class or at the mall, whatever. Paint yourself blue and run to a church, screaming out the names of all the people you slept with. Is that art? Or did you just forget to take your riddle in? There has to be a line for art to exist. There has to be a line out there somewhere. A line between really saying something and just needing attention.
and came out of whatever it was, and it took me with it, and it was an ecstasy, a purity, a love of an unimaginable time. And it relates to nothing whatever, to nothing that can be related to. Don't you see? Don't you see? Don't you see the thing that happened to me that nobody understands? Why I can't feel what I'm supposed to because it relates to nothing. It can't have happened. It did, but it can't have. and invisible hand cancel and tear to pieces the great